Hey, it's Friday, April the 26th, and this is Diane Talk. Uh, so I'm Diane from Diane Talk, and tonight the real talk we're going to have is your word is your bond. It's all about giving your word, keeping your word, and understanding what your word means. So back in the day, um, people used to go to grocery stores and they put things on their account. Um, and it really amazed me when I went to a little uh, town in Daysland, Alberta with my husband years ago, that they still did that. So it was a trust system, the bond system. As time has gone by, of course, we've grown out of that. People are different and it is business is business. So I get that we don't do that anymore, but this is what I do know. When you give someone your word, if it's important, please keep it. And if you can't keep it, that's fine. They need to understand that as well. So the understanding needs to be on both sides. But the reason I bring it up is this. As we mature and get older in life, very few people have people who keep their word because we're all so busy and life happens. But keeping your word is a two-way street. I realize that I can sometimes be very demanding in my expectations of people that are close to me. So I need to keep my word by understanding that they have a life as well. And that that is just the way it is. And I cannot take advantage of that. That is keeping my word. To keep myself true, I try to balance it off and say, how important is this in the scheme of life, in the scheme of love, in the scheme of day to day? Make sure that when your word is your bond, it's a two-way street. People sometimes don't realize that their word means so much because it gives people like myself, not only are you supporting me, but that comfort level that I can believe in you. So it really reaffirms my belief system in human beings and in the person that I trust. Trust to me is unconditional. You have to have trust or you have nothing. Um, people say a lot of things, but I trust people based on how they demonstrate their concern for me, how they demonstrate their life day to day, what they do in their life to make it real, and how they live it. So it's not about giving me something or doing something for me, it's about understanding that what I see is what they say and what they say is what it is. When you have that, it's perfect symmetry and it makes sense. People who say, oh, you know, I would never ever cheat. I would never ever steal. I would never ever, that's all well and good, but it's also got a judgmental overtone and undertone to it as well. People don't know each other's circumstances. So when your word is your bond, make sure what you say is what it is. Make sure what you give is what you can. And make sure what you expect is what you deserve. Your word is your bond is a two-way street. Integrity is something that is the foundation of trust. And trust is the foundation of everything. Friendship, love, marriage, careers, relationships with your employer are extremely trust-based. If you don't have that, what do you have? I need to trust that the people I work for have my best interest at heart as well as the business. I need to trust that the person I consider my friend has my best interest at heart, at heart sorry, as well as their own. And I need to trust that the person I love unconditionally, my spouse, my partner, also feels the same way about me and cares enough about me to keep their word and their bond. If we get to a place where things change, all they need to do is say so openly and honestly and then life goes on. Two-way street people, integrity, your word is your bond, but make sure that your bond and your word goes back to the people that you expect things from. They rely on you just like you rely on them. Understanding is a gift. Use it. Integrity is a gift. Do it. Love is a gift. Embrace it. This is Diane from Diane Talk. I'll see you next week. Thank you.